pushing. Whatever happened about that man on the liquor store? He sued. No, I'm still in, I think. Tosh, could you pass me the bread? Thank you. So what did he do? I don't know. We haven't gotten around to interviewing the tipper yet. We got so many cases right now, it might take a while. But it's been, what, three months now? Hi, Miss Sood. Hi. So you're a Joel, huh? Yeah, I keep saying I'm gonna stop, but it never seems to happen. I know what you mean. It's the same with my smoking. We're looking for Mr. Masood Raymond. Tashi! That's me? What can I do for you? It's Carl, sis. I'm working. working Max here? Taylor, FBI agent. You're under arrest, Mr. Raymond. What? what did he do? You're what for? You're conspiring to perform terrorist activities against the what? United Terrorist? States. What do you mean? You have the right to remain silent. No, there must be some mistake. I've not done anything. No, sir. Please, listen to me. So, this guy has to, like, stay in jail until you find time to interview someone? That sucks. Sweetie, do you know how long it takes to investigate a case? Sometimes months, right? Mm -hmm. We can't have terrorists running around free all that time. Yeah, but you don't even know if he's a terrorist. Not for sure, but we do use state-of-the-art data mining techniques to identify potential terrorists. We're not just dumping random people in jail. So how do you identify them? Oh, sis, it's way too complicated. What's for dessert? Oh, come on, tell us, Uncle Kwashi, please. All right. We use algorithms, which are a series of steps to help solve a problem. For instance, we already have a lot of information about the 9-11 terrorists, like what they bought, the food they ate, how they did all kinds of things. We check to see who else has the same patterns. People with similar behavior patterns often have similar belief patterns, too. Hello? I have to leave in five minutes. Uh... All right. No more than that. Yeah. I mean, I don't like war, but someone had to get rid of Saddam. If our president decided that we should go to war, then there had to have been a good reason. I support our troops, and I'm proud of my country. I have to go now. Bye-bye. But how do you measure people's patterns? Well, we get department stores, uh, grocery stores, to give us information about who's buying what. Internet businesses, database, uh, think Tosh needs another beer. Tasha, put that down. Mom, I'm at just once. It. I just wanted to see what it smells like. So you check to see what they're buying. Buying and who they associate with. We wanted libraries to give us information about what people were reading, but they refused. Anyway, if we find someone that matched the terrorist algorithm, we check to see if there's anything else suspicious or if there are any tips against them. This technique has a pretty high accuracy rate. Anyways, look, I don't get it. What's the pattern? It's everything you do. Uh, who you associate with. Uh, what you buy. So you're the gentleman that wanted to buy this place. Yeah, that'd be me. I used to be a regular when Masood Rahman owned the place. I remember he kept saying that someone kept making offers on it, but... Uh, I don't know. 20? Uh, yeah, um, you know he's in jail now, don't you? Yeah, I'm sure the day he was arrested, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great location, just, uh, just wouldn't sell. And prison changed his mind? Changes business more like it. <laughs> Wants to give their hard-earned money to a terrorist. Here you go. Thank you. Well, they don't know if he's a terrorist yet. Well, he's in jail for it, isn't he? Uh, he must be. Well, my brother works for the FBI, and he says they don't know yet. They haven't mm. interrogated whoever's sending the tips against him. Yeah, but if you ask me, I, I, I always thought there was something weird going on here. You know, he would have his friends from his country hanging around this place, speaking in their own language, so no one could understand them. Oh. Get this, he wouldn't even put up a flag after 9-11 like everyone else did. I mean, it just felt like he was rubbing our faces in it, you know? Uh, I don't know. 
I talked to him after 9-11, and he seemed very upset about it to me. Oh, so you know him pretty well, then? No. Well, it's nice talking with you. Gotta be going. You have a nice day. fertilizer, pizza paid for with a credit card, hummus, propane, uh, plain whole fat yogurt, whole fat milk. Hi, did you find everything you needed, man? Yes, yes. Um, actually there's one thing, one moment. 